Use the referral link in the description to G2A.com for all of your Xbox codes, PlayStation codes and video games and be sure to use the code CHEZ at checkout to get yourself 3% cash back. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Russia 2018 Sticker Book Collection series. We are actually doing very well in the, uh, in the pursuit for a full book so far. We've got five more packs to open today and uh, hopefully we won't get too many duplicates. I am yet to stick in uh, the last pile of uh, stickers that I got from the previous few episodes. So uh, I've got that to do before we do another book roundup on Sunday. But we picked up a couple of shinies, our first shinies actually, and two in fact in the last episode. So fingers crossed we can have uh, another good episode with regards uh, cards that we need. We uh, didn't have an episode Wednesday, apologise for that. Obviously the, uh, the Foot Manchester or Foot Champions uh, video vlog from Manchester went live midweek. If you missed it, check the channel page for it. But uh, we shall start this particular episode with the full Belgian national team. That's definitely one that I know I need. We do have Eden Hazard already though, I believe, as a, an individual. And I think I've got Rajan Angolan too. Uh, we get Mohamed El Nenny, Arsenal player. Obviously, uh, earlier today, as you see this video, uh, Arsenal, I almost said Manchester United for some reason. Arsene Wenger has announced his impending retirement from Arsenal at the end of the season. Vincent Kompany is another, well, Belgian great player. One of the best players they have available to them. We get Randall Azafaifa, a Costa Rican. Plays for Club Sports Herediano in the Costa Rican National League. And we end the first pack with Alan Zagawev. Player for the host nation. Currently plays for CSK Moscow in Russia. Decent player, actually. Let me know in the comment section down below who you think is going to take over at Arsenal. I might, I might do a separate video on it, considering it's such a, a big thing in the footballing world. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see just a, you know, a separate video around the whole Arsenal Linger retiring and his time at Arsenal scenario, so to speak. Uh, and I might put together something like that. I would like to do more, you know, commentary on actual football topics but or IRL football topics we'll have to wait and see if it's something you guys might be interested in if you don't want to see it I won't show you it or I won't record the videos but Morocco shiny is uh, one that I definitely need that's three shinies we've gotten so far Felipe Luis very good left back of course still playing at Atletico Madrid uh, I think he's injured currently but I'm not entirely too sure Kendall Watson from Costa Rica Vancouver Whitecaps player I believe I already have him so I shall put him to one side for the time being uh, Hannes Haldorsson, goalkeeper for Iceland, plays for Randers in Denmark. We need him. And we also need Christian Stuani, forward player for Girona in Spain. Used to be at Middlesbrough in the, well, at the time, Premier League, but now the Championship, of course. I believe that's the same Stuani. If I'm mistaken, then I'm sure you guys will let me know in the comments section. Let's ward the comments of four. What will we get from pack number three? We start with... Oh, actually, is that Stuani again? No, it's not. It's another Uruguayan, though. We start with an upside-down Shime Vasaliko. Unfortunately, uh, we already have him. I know that for a fact, so he can go there. The Uruguayan was Matthias Carujo, plays for Club Atletico Peñarol in, uh, Peñarol in the Uruguayan uh, domestic division. We get Luis Advincula from Peru, plays for Lubos Buap in Mexico. I need him, Peruvian that we don't have. Diego Costa. Diego, Diego. Uh, unfortunately, no longer at Chelsea, back at Atleti, but one that we need for the Spanish front line. Uh, we already have... Um, uh, ow, I just banged money on the table. <laughs> we already have Alvaro Morata and Ilya Kutupov. I wasn't sure initially when I saw that card whether I had him as a, as a duplicate or not. And then I glanced over the other side of my table and right on top of my duplicate pile was Kutupov. So I now have two of him to give away. I'll, uh, I will be doing a giveaway uh, in the not too distant future over on Twitter. So do feel free to follow me on there. I'll probably do it this weekend after I put everything into the book uh, on or for, for Sunday's episode. So uh, follow me on Twitter if you don't already. Link in the description down below and uh, you might be able to win yourself what is turning out to be quite a large pile at present of duplicates. Uh, Musa Sao is a player we get as pack number one, or sorry, uh, sticker number one from pack number four. Place of Bursa Sport currently in the Turkey League. Had a few informs last year on FIFA 17 that were very, very good. Kasper Schmeichel, player that I'm sure all of you will be familiar with. Goalkeeper from Leicester City. Premier League winner alongside his father. Uh, Musa Kunate, plays for Amiens in France. We get the Senegalese player. He can go into the book. 
Aldo Corzo, Peruvian, plays for Universitario Deportes in the Peruvian League. We need him. And we also need uh, Luis Tejada, Panama player from Sport Boys Association in the Peruvian uh, National League. So that's another one we need. I'm actually doing quite well with duplicates today. I'm, where's, I haven't got any wood. I'm just going to touch me because my surname is wood. Touch wood. Touch wood. We won't get any more duplicates. And if we could get uh, 23 of 25... Uh, cards that we need, then that will be absolutely brilliant for today's episode. Be the best one we've had so far. Actually, no, the first two we had one duplicate, but it'd be the best we've had since the first couple. Ah, Eric Dyer. Touching wood didn't work. He's a duplicate. He comes with the book. So why they put him in the packs, I'm not sure. Uh, Lasse Schoener, playing for Ajax currently. The Danish midfielder, decent player. Number 560 is Usama Hadidi, playing for Dijon, or Dion. No, no it's Dijon, isn't it, in French, uh, in Tunisia. Or, yeah, for, from Tunisia, plays in France for Dijon. Pioni Sisto is a player we already have. I know that for a fact. So now we're up to four duplicates. And the final one, oh, nice one to end on. Anthony Martial, currently running out of contract, I believe, at the end of the season at Manchester United and heavily rumoured to be leaving, but nobody knows where. Man United fans, I know, are really keen on keeping him at the, keeping him at the club, but it seems his heart is, his heart is set on moving. But where to... We have absolutely no clue whatsoever. Let me know in the comment section where you think Anthony Martial could end up. Would you have him at your club? I most certainly would have him at Chelsea. And Cambridge United, for that matter. But I get the slight feeling we couldn't quite afford his wages. <laughs> but for now, that's going to be all for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. There was a uh, Southampton career mode video earlier on this afternoon. So check the channel page for that if you missed it. Or, of course, any of the uh, previous episodes in that series. Or the Youth Re Regen Road to Glory that went up. Last night, there'll be another episode of that tomorrow, of course, and of this, and of the Southampton series, of course. If you don't know what and when I upload, then there is a link in the description, well, not a link, there's just a schedule in the description that lets you know when FIFA videos go live. So uh, have a look down there for that. Like I say, follow me on Twitter for uh, duplicate giveaways that will be coming as of this weekend. Uh, I might stream this weekend. I haven't decided yet. Depends how much I can get recorded, but I may do that too. So follow me on Twitch down below if you haven't already. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And that's me waving in a really awkward fashion. I'll see you next time. <laughs>